There's a process to go through, there's life to, to live and um, you know we don't always know where we're going to be in a few years time so enjoying what it is you're doing at the time whether it is playing cricket or, or anything else is you know I think is, is the most important thing. Hi, I'm Kane Williamson and I'm a batsman for Sunrisers Hyderabad. So my father had a real interest in cricket, uh, being a part of a large family, a twin brother and three older sisters, there was uh, always a passion for, for playing sport. It was cricket in the summer and, and basketball in the winter and, and that quickly became just cricket. You know, five siblings meant they were quite busy. Yep, they're very uh, supportive of, um, of what I do as I am of, of what they do and we're a pretty close-knit family and we're all yeah, pretty up to date with, with how things are, are going with one another. So certainly when you're younger, it's, it's all enjoying the game and, and playing with your, your mates and um, I've always had a real drive to improve and, and I still do and looking to, to practice and, and work hard is yeah, a real a part of the appeal of, of cricket in particular. Yeah, I mean, I remember be playing backyard cricket, and I'd have the majority of the uh, the Indian batting lineup would be in my backyard cricket team. And then you sort of fast forward a few years and um, debuting in my first Test match, and looking around in the field, and they were all those uh, Indian batsmen that were meant to be in my backyard cricket team, like Sachin Tendulkar and Vivius Laxman and Rahul Dravid and Brenda Sewag. In fact, in a lot of ways, it was a little bit distracting. You know, quite quickly you started to just try and focus on what it was that you were trying to do and and uh, worry about talking to uh, some of your childhood heroes after the, the series. I've always thought if you want to talk to someone about mastering something, then maybe speak to Virat and AB, um, De Villiers, you know, and these guys that are uh, leading the world in what they're doing and we're just trying to uh, um, compete and learn. You watch television and you watch and you follow people that you know you might admire in, in the fields that that you love and and for me that was cricket and so you would look at the black caps and so then getting the opportunity to play for for New Zealand I, I suppose a few years down the track um, I started to get a little bit of opportunity and, and captaining sides when Brendan wasn't there or resting and then as it came nearer to to Brendan finishing and and, and then retiring yeah I sort of took over then. Well, when it happened, um, it was more, there's a job to do, you know, and, and it's not about you. <laughs> so I think the highs are often exaggerated and the lows are too. And, you know, remember why you play the game and, and why you enjoy the game, which I think is, is the most important thing. I think most players remember their under 19 time. And I, after that, I remember uh, Virat was there captaining the Indian side and, and often we'd talk about under 19 days and then getting the opportunity to come and play here at Sunrises and, and catching up with Manish and Trivats and Siddharth and you all reflect on it really fondly and you know all young up and coming players I suppose and it's, it is nice to talk about the old days every now and again. I guess being a part of the squad in 2016 I think and we managed to, to get across the line that was something special you know in a tournament that's so competitive um, and for the team to go all the way. Standing in as, as captain for that season and it was a really enjoyable year actually. Uh, I think as a team we, we had a lot of fun and played pretty well across the board and um, kind of went all, all the way and played pretty well in the final too to be honest as a team and, and just didn't quite get across the line and that's that's cricket, that's how it goes but um, yeah a lot of fond memories of that year and how we, we came together as a group and, and played some pretty good cricket which was nice. It's uh, special, um, it's nice to be a, a brother, people have maybe drawn some pictures even and, uh, and done some things that you know when you sit down and think that someone's taken the time and, and actually done that yeah it's pretty special and it's not it's not common in, in everyday life it's not something you expect yeah and we're incredibly fortunate to have the the support of so many people here in India in particular. 
you know, playing test cricket, there's always the spark there, um, you know, the most traditional format that we have. And, and I think, you know, most players still playing the game see it as the, the pinnacle um, of the sport still. Um, you know, every test match had points riding on it. But having said that, you know, when it spans over two years in order to qualify, it's, it's quite hard to, I think, take the focus into game one um, and have that in mind in, in two years time. So for us and everybody, I think their journeys were um, very disrupted due to COVID and, um, you know, everything that's been going on in the world. But um, it did give us uh, that chance and we snuck through to the final, which was, you know, fantastic achievement, um, you know, to, to find ourselves in the final against the you know, formidable side and, and that of India. We knew that it was going to be a, a really tough challenge and it was in the game, you know, ebbed and flowed um, throughout the whole six days and we had a couple of them rained off, but um, it was, you know, right in the balance the whole time. I think both bowling attacks were exceptional throughout the whole game. Um, and then, you know, it came down sort of late on the last day where we were fortunate to, to generate a partnership and, and just get across the line. But um, yeah, an amazing game to be a part of and a, a great achievement for us as a team. Yeah, you go through um, the experience of, of being there and, and your child coming into the world and it's an incredibly overwhelming little person in your life that's certainly far more important than what you ever would have imagined. So really hard to, to put into words uh, how, you know, how, how special it is. I was into economics and I perhaps would have gone, I would have gone to university and tried to uh, get a degree, but we don't know, do we? <laughs>